So, where are we going? Nowhere in particular. I find being 30,000 feet up greatly reduces the chances of any effective surveillance. Do you know what this is? I assume it's one of those Gould communication balls. We didn't have to negotiate for it either. Who's we? My organization. An ID? Mm, more of an offshoot. Ah. That sort of says it all, doesn't it? I want you to command a unit. There are units? Oh, yes. Would you like to meet the temporary commander of the unit I want you to run? I guess. Took us a while to figure out how to use this thing without a gold at the controls. But good old human ingenuity eventually won out. Colonel Mayborn. No, man. I'd like you to meet Colonel Jack O'Neill, retired. Colonel O'Neill, it is a pleasure, sir. I read just about all the SG-1 mission briefings and, uh, Let's just say your file is very impressive. It'd be an honor to serve under your command, Colonel. Hello, Newman. You look familiar. Uh, yes, sir. We have met briefly in a hangar at a Utah landing strip. You're one of those kids we chased through the other Stargate. Uh, that would be me. I apologize about having to return fire, sir. Hmm. Where are you? He's on another planet. Your mission, Newman? Use whatever means necessary to acquire goods and technology that could help Earth in the battle against the Gould, sir, or other unforeseen aggressors. Well, you've seen my file, Newman. It's only fair I know a little more about you. Need to know, Colonel. Well, I need to know if I'm going to command this unit. You agree to go there and take command. I'll give you detailed files on every one of your people. Now, how about it, Colonel? You ready for a command where you can finally achieve what you and I both agree needs to be achieved to defend this planet? I never thought I'd agree with you about anything, Mayborn. But yeah. <laughs>